Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Facebook like box on your website or blog. Now, let's talk about why you want to add this Facebook like box to your, your blog. Well, one reason is it's kind of a good place for people, if they're on your blog, they can just click the like button and they like you. They don't even have to leave your blog. It's handy. You know, it's better than the, the uh, <clears throat> you know, where they have to go and click this button and then go look at your Facebook page and, and then like you. Right here, they could just, there's good, there would be a little like button right here, but I already like myself, so I, I don't have it. But if I, if I didn't like this yet, I would be able to just click like and keep reading and, and find out more information here about on your blog site without ever leaving. Plus, it's kind of some nice social proof. I can look at these pictures and think, well, this is a good-looking group of people. I want to hang out with those people on that page, and I'm going to join this group because I like this blog. And, and look at those nice, good-looking people there, huh? So that's the reason why you want to have a like box. Makes it easy for people to like you. Gets you more fans or likers or whatever you want to call them these days. And, um, and it's some social proof there with some, some nice smiling faces. So how do you do it? So what you do is you go to your Facebook page and you click on the edit page area. And, and the good thing is Facebook has made it easier. Isn't that a change? They made something easier, huh? Well, that's all right. Facebook, they're doing their best. They got a lot on their plate. So we click the marketing button here. And there's some handy little ways you can market your, your page here. Uh, but the like box is right here. Add a i got to get my bifocals out. Add a like box to your website. And then you take into this little area here where you can kind of configure the way you want your like box to look. So they've got the default uh, like box in here, the Facebook platform. But what you want to do is you want to switch this to your Facebook URL and once you do that then it'll bring that up and you'll be able to configure it the way you want now if you have 25 fans hopefully you've already gone to facebook.com forward slash username to get your custom URL otherwise you might have a long URL to cut and paste and put there when from your fan page so um, if you have 25 fans get over and get your custom name there so um, then the next thing you have to do here is change the width. So you want the width of this box here to match the width of your sidebar on your, on your page here. So how do you find this width if you don't know where to find it? I, you know, do you just guess? Huh? It looks like about 150. I don't know. Um, you can eyeball it if you want to. Try it out. Cut and paste it. See how it looks. Change it. Tweak it. Whatever. Or you can go in to look at your width under your theme. Uh, you click on this little themes under appearance and actually you click on editor, not themes, editor. Editor will get you there. You can find that in the, um, in the typically in the template. You can find how that looks. So the, it'll give you the, all the widths for the header and everything like that. You can look through there. Or like I said, you can wing it. I'm a big fan of winging it sometimes, you know. I figure it's about 200. Check it out. See if it looks good. Switch it. Cut and paste it. That kind of thing. Whatever you want to do. So, um, but you might want to be precise. All right, people. Let's get technical. Um, so, I happen to know mine is 250. My width is 250 and then it changes it right there for you. So you want to make those changes as you're going along to, to get that, to, so you can get the exact code right. So then you can change the light or dark. Whoa, that's dark. I'm not going with the dark. That's hard to read. And you can put how many connections you want. I chose not to show the stream. You can do that. People might want to go ahead and read they can read all your posts right there in your in on your page that's kind of fun but i chose not to show the stream so it doesn't take up so much real estate and hog my sidebar so then once you got it like you like it you get the code and then this little pop-up box pops up as it's called pop-up that's the reason where it got its name huh so 
Then we hit Control C right there and uh, copy that that code. Now you go over to your uh, your website and in the edit area and actually go into the widgets under a theme or under appearance. Go into the widgets. This is all for WordPress. Hopefully you can figure out where this is if you've got Blogger or someplace else. They're similar, you know, kind of places, but I'll show you what happens. So now you've got the sidebar here is where you're putting your boxes and your little things that you want to put in there. And you put it in a text box. So if you don't have one, you drag a text box over there, drag it from there, and then paste it in there. So this is, I already happen to have mine in there because you saw it there. And so I just paste it in there, hit save, and voila, you've got a Facebook like box on your, on your uh, website or blog. So obviously if you've got a website, it's going to be a little bit different, but this is a WordPress blog, showed you how to do it, and it's, it's kind of similar for other things. Well, websites are more complicated, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Anyway, anywho, I hope that helped. And I'll talk to you next time. And make sure you like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Grandma's Mary Show.